Okay, we're in Philly. We're in Fishtown in Philly. We're in an alley in Fishtown in Philly. It's not this morning, it's this afternoon. It's noon, we're out here, we're doing things. Uh, we're exploring Fishtown. I'm gonna go pick up some AirPods. Yeah, find some stuff to eat, things to do, shit like that. Got 5-0 rolling through, rolling deep. Got these dudes rolling through, rolling deep. Everybody's rolling deep. So Fishtown's a newly gentrified area. Pretty cool, it's quaint and it's charming as they say. Uh, it's super dilapidated. It obviously used to be like a working class town. A lot of fish monikers everywhere, so that's a lot like how Japan is. But I think this place is cool. Not near center city at all, quite a ways, which we actually have to go to to get the AirPod. There's a cake shop up here around the corner. Jay-Z got Beyonce's birthday cake made there. I know that because I read it on the internet. It's like the Philly Brook. It's probably like a bubble, you know? It seems really cool right now, but, and maybe, maybe it's even popped already, but those bubbles always pop. Places that are cool, people run to it, and then it becomes full of yuppies and whackness. But right now there's a lot of really good food and beer. Hipster shit, dog. This is the first place I ever came to in Philly. Came here on a skateboard trip when I was 16. I bought a train ticket. I didn't tell my parents and I left. And Philly was the first stop and Love Park was the first stop. So I'm gonna cruise back through even though it's completely different. We left downtown because that was insane. Didn't really plan on going down there, but I'm glad I did. I haven't been there really in a long time. Uh, Philly's crazy, man. Philly is like a very crazy place. A lot of things have changed. This whole episode seems like it's about gentrification. And I don't want to get into the politics of gentrification, but it is fairly interesting. This area of Fishtown is basically abandoned, you know, like super cheap. Nobody came here. Drug addicts, you know, and now it's like being built up into this just really eclectic neighborhood type thing. And, you know, I would describe it as white people shit, but sometimes the white people shit is cool. And my Uber guy in Atlanta, outside bars and patios and coffee shops, bubbling dog. It feels alive. Like there's new art. People are painting murals. There's art everywhere. Where there's sculptures. The city feels really alive. The other thing about it too is shit is crammed on top of each other. Like I thought Tokyo was crammed. You can literally hear whoever is above me right there. You can hear whoever is across there. Every time someone comes up that stair, every time someone comes in that door, anyone on the sidewalk, if you, anyone on the sidewalk you're hearing, like no, like it's crazy. And at first I was mad. I was like, what the fuck? Like why the fuck is it so loud? Blah, blah, blah. I was just like people are just used to it. It's just how it's set up. It's some colonial shit, but it's pretty crazy. Cause about the only thing separating you and everybody else is just this one little tiny wall. I mean, look how close that door is. That's close. My man Gus hit me up from the shop. Might run down there and see him real quick. Yeah. Come on, table. Nice. Uh, so, this is uh, the studio. Nice. Yeah. Seth Fowler, who lives in Philly, rolling through here in a minute. I don't know what we're gonna do, but came back here to meet him. Casual day. Casual. It's been nice. Philly is crazy. This whole town is crazy. This whole shit is nuts, man. I don't know if I'm just like not used to it. New York just seems so big. So when you're there, every like it seems crazy, but this feels smaller, but still huge, dense. There's just like, I don't know, man. Philly just has a different vibe to it. I don't know how to explain it. People are nice. Most people are really nice. And Fishtown, I swear to God, it just, it literally to me seems like an O-bomb, an opioid bomb was dropped on this town and they were like rebuilding it. Some people probably don't like the new shit is moving in and it's changing, but you know, there's like a yin and a yang. There's not, not positive shit. There's, I mean, there's evidence of that not positive shit. There's still a lot of opiates out here. There's a lot of drugs, like a lot, a lot. And it's, you can see it. But it is 
a cool place. I like it. The architecture is crazy. All the row housing is just. I found this rebel What's up? in the streets. Where, uh, what's the name of it? Badita? It's a Bedia, Badita, I don't know. All right, so supposedly the best pizza in North America. It's one guy that makes them all, apparently. There's 40 he makes a day, and there's always a line. I felt like if I'm gonna hit a line, who else? Exactly, right? Bring the line chant with me. A line veteran, Seth Fowler. So we're gonna go Obviously. see. We're gonna go see what it's all about. <laughs> this article is basically saying that they've changed all of the, they changed the whole like muss and fuss. They moved it. it. Says, let's get this out of the way right here at the start. This place isn't the old pizzeria of Padilla. It can't be, and it never could have been. I think that they outgrew the old place and moved no. it over here. Either way, we're going to eat it. I think the hype, I don't say the hype is even dead. They just got a bigger spot. If you want this for your MySpace, let me know. <laughs> Let's just get a pizza. Just cheese pizza, boys. And another fun fact is, take life behind you. It's, that's where Jay-Z bought Beyonce. All right, brought home the rest of this pizza, which, but you still, it seems like you have to make a reservation. You have to eat there. There's like no takeaway or whatever. I mean, you can like take your leftovers, I guess, but it doesn't seem like you can order delivery or pick up or anything. The night is winding down. I have still not made it to the water, which I believe is the Delaware. So I want to walk down there and see what's good. So that's where we're going right now. Nighttime stroll. Let's see what we can get into here. The uh, graveyard across the street was a little surprising. I don't know. It's not weird that it exists. It's just weird that I'm here. Graveyards have an energy. Call me a hippie if you want. We got a casino, so we should feel like gambling. Life's already a gamble. I haven't gambled at a casino in a while. The last time we went, well not the last time, but in the recent year, we've hit some come ups. All right, so we ended up going into the casino. I forgot to take video of the second ticket because I had to sneak. You're not supposed to film in a casino, but I won $200 the first cash out, and then I won $345 the second cash out. I put $100 in, so $445 profit for about half an hour's worth of work. So now we're going back home to hit this walk off. It's a walk off. My number one tip for winning at the casino, play roulette, play the same fucking numbers, base those numbers off what the dealer is doing. Don't just pick your favorite numbers and do it forever. Find that bracket, and then once you win, leave, dog. Here's the light I burnt my finger on last night. Motherfucker is hot. We're waiting on the crispy one. Scruff was supposed to come up. He didn't come up. He missed. He missed waking up. Back inside, Crispy got lost <laughs> somehow, and there's construction. I'm watching John Wick series. <laughs> John Wick one. We're almost done with it. I like it. I'll give you a full breakdown. Crispy cool. Hey guys. Welcome, Welcome to Philadelphia. <laughs> Damn son, look at the glow on these bitches though, bro. Oh, I know shit. you're driving, but my- Yo, I'm blinded over here. Son. Fireworks coming from over there. Hello, in the floorboard. The number one thing that they lack in Philly is- Parking. Parking. Mm -hmm. Please, there's no spots Even right when you're trying to pay to play, there's no way. Are you going? Scoop. That's what I'm talking about. Let's get charged that city price, that $54 a day city price, whatever it's gonna end up being. 45 is the lost ticket rate, so. If you're dirty urn, 45 is what you're paying. This is fucking nuts. Philly, oh! Mother It's like, look, this guy's leaving. There's gotta be a spot. Or Any he spots? Oh, shit. I'm wheeling his car like goddamn Tom Cruise. <laughs> yeah, you are days of thunder right now. I'm gonna fuck around. You're like the sugar packets up Nicole Kidman's leg. <laughs> yeah, if I have to pay, I'm punching some <laughs> Yeah, if we have to pay, it'll definitely be ridiculous. Fuck. I believe so. Why? No, I'm saying we were both coming. They were already through, but the gate never went up for me. I don't know why. Philly is not lacking a population. Wait. Are you going to sun crispy for all these people? No, no dude, sir. I got my bucket hat on. Yeah. Ain't nobody sunning me with the bucket. Shit, it's Black Air Force Ones. You better watch it. Yeah, listen, kid. <laughs> I got my Jacob on, too. You got, you're, Jacob, you're Jacob the Jeweler? My Jacob the Jeweler. Jacob the Jeweler made you a switchblade in 96, I heard. Yo, I had, I had a switchblade come in the third grade, The kid. only weapon Jacob's ever made. 
<laughs> my only weapon was my pen. He broke the mold after they say he would never make another. <laughs> my pen game. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's very Rizza. You know, then I had to get my, my knuckle game up. I'll write my shit. My tongue game. <laughs> <laughs> right now. Just go in the booth. I just go in the booth and annihilate. Go in the booth and waste an engineer's time. It's all Japanese in there. You can totally see it. Or Chinese. That looks Chinese, but still. It it's the Chinese Lantern Festival. Damn, son, it's lit. Look at that. Literally, because literally, it's lantern. <laughs> it's reserved. And Come another, on, man. Another parking garage. It's amazing. And now we just got passed by like... 19 fucking <laughs> people, man. I fucking hate my goddamn motherfucking city. God, fuck. <laughs> Sorry for cursing. No, I don't give a shit. What are you talking about? Oh, did you see what just happened? <laughs> I was so proud of myself. Yeah. I was like, we're gonna uh, get fucking crushed this. Fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> this is the greatest. I cannot get a parking spot, dude. It's not my fault. Philly has none. Crispy's done playing games. Ah, oh, finally found the parking, and then <laughs> what do you know? There's <laughs> There's a bunch of it. Man, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, six. Oh my god, I <laughs> made it to the Mecca and I chose the fucking. Let's do this. It's some meat because I got collard greens and they have turkey in them. Black eyed peas, that's like what they do on New Year's, right? Isn't that for money and prosperity? Fucking sweet plantains, bro. So, look at those things. Get a lady up a pork brisket and a fucking bouquet. Uh, what do you want? You getting, you getting ice cream? Should be open April to September. Comics number one in mint condition. Oh, oh my god. It white out on everything to go back and fix it. White out, white out. Is this real? Yeah. Drawing aspect, yeah. Yeah, that's the only thing I really I'll like go, about it. I'll get this tatted on my face. This is Jack Kirby. <laughs> Was look at the letters, 1968. That's incredible. Man. Yeah. This is dope. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even notice it goes from all the way from here. Yeah. Yeah, that's a sick one. That, this is, Punisher is what turned me off from everybody else. Punisher is where it's at. Punisher. Oh, look at this, this is like vintage right here. Look yeah. at his face. Yeah, if you're gonna go Marvel, Punisher is the only one. This one's a little goofy, but I still like it. It's 86, and that's pencil. I think here's his first appearance. It's fucking colored pencil. No way. Yeah, it is. Look how saturated that shit is. Dude fucking bared down on that shit so hard. That was an 86. Bro, can you imagine coming to your friend's house in 86 and he pulls out this drawing? <laughs> this shit looks like HD. Maybe it's part of the Marvel exhibit. <laughs> Maybe Spider-Man came through. Take a break. Oh, and then I don't know what I'm gonna do. Right now, 